And the starting lineup for the Thunder brought to us tonight by State Farm. The front line, Kevin Durant, Serge Ibaka, and Kendrick Perkins. The backcourt comprised of Russell Westbrook and Tabo Cephalosha. And for the Clippers. In the front court, it's Karan Butler, Blake Griffin, and DeAndre Jordan. Willie Green out there with Chris Paul. Here's Griffin, powers down the dunk. And Kevin, keep an eye tonight on how many plays he keeps alive for his club. Just the way he works, the way he moves, the way he anticipates plays before they happen. Constantly looking to get an offensive board. And I'll say something else, Steve. He is one of the most powerful finishers we have in this league. He takes it to the rack hard. Westbrook drops it in from 14 feet away. I tell you what, he can be an offensive force when he's on top of his game, guys. And he usually is on top of his game. I just got to say this. I mean, the Thunder fans have really been spoiled since the team moved to Oklahoma City. Four years in, and they've made the playoffs in all but the first season. Now the feed to Cephalosha. He kicks it to Ibaka. Kicks to Cephalosha. Durant. Shoots over Griffin. Durant. That's good. Durant's got his first basket of the night. Back to Oklahoma City. Made the playoffs. Gone deep more often than not. And talk about winning over a city when they relocated Steve from Seattle. They have done that and more. Well, that city has really embraced the franchise, Kevin. And it, it helps when you've got guys like Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook who are not only phenomenal players to watch, but uh, really good people who the community can embrace. So I think the, uh, the, the love affair between the team and the community is going to last a long time. Here's Westbrook following the basket by Blake Griffin. Here's Cephalosha, and that's collected by DeAndre Jordan. The Los Angeles Clippers coming to this one after the win against New Orleans. And Kevin, the starters didn't have too much pressure on them in that game because of how effective the bench guys were. And another thing, getting all the... Oh, oh, oh man, wow. what a play. Nasty, nasty, whoa. <laughs> and that look right there on Clark says it all. Oh, get it. Oh, oh, oh. watch out now. Oh, oh, oh. Not stop, man, no way to stop that. I mean, there's nothing you can do when he's coming at him like that. Well, that's right, Clark. Uh, Steve, he is a dangerous, dangerous player. Yeah, especially when he gets to that launching pad right there in the lane. I mean, uh, pretty one-handed finish. That was nice. Special thanks to Sprite for that sweet replay. Pocket six. Pass to Durant. Let's it go from deep. And that one's good. Durant's got seven points. And with the Thunder, this is Scott Brooks' first head coaching opportunity. And there's no question he's made the most of it. He was coach of the year back in 2010. And that team has so much stability uh, as an organization, but also as a coaching staff and as a roster. They seem to be getting better and better every year. And for Coach Brooks, you really have to appreciate, Steve, the way he's gotten all the players to buy into being unselfish. Uh, that defensive first mentality. Yeah, no question. And give the general manager credit, too, for putting together a group of guys who are high character and who already have that gene in them to, to really want the team to do well. Led, of course, by Kevin Durant, the superstar who is also the backbone of this club, Russell Westbrook as well. Uh, but Brooks deserves a lot of credit. He's put this together and he's made it work and uh, really a nice situation in Oklahoma City. Grant Hill, he's checked in for Blake Griffin. Stolen by Durant. The fadeaway, Martin with the bucket. Still went down, but with no defense anywhere near him, he might as well just go straight up. No need to fade away. And it's Hill penetrating. The kick out to Odom. Plenty of space, and he drops that one in. There's 126 left to play in the first quarter. Well, you love Lamar Odom as a combo forward. He can play either the three or the four spot. Really can be your point guard if you want him to. Handles the ball beautifully and a terrific passer. And so when you talk about his value, that's where it starts, the versatility. Good. 
Bledsoe's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Let's go quickly over to Doris Burke for an update. Hey, Kevin, Scott Brooks gave me a few minutes to share with him. Coach had no qualms with telling me that he wants to get into a defensive battle. He said, we know if the game slows down and points are tough to come by, we'll be at the advantage. That's the kind of game that we want to get into here because we feel we're better suited for it. We'll see if things shape up that way, gentlemen. Okay, thank you, Doris. And the defensive approach, guys, how do you think that'll play out here? I don't know, Kevin. I'm not sure they should be more focused on their opponent than they are on themselves. That is sort of the way it sounds, Steve. But still, I don't think a defense-first mindset is ever a bad thing. Six to shoot. Odom with his screen on Fisher. Ludzo dishes to Odom. And a great assist by Bledsoe as that one goes in. You talk about Odom's versatility. He can defend multiple positions. And he's able, you know, he's able to do so many different things on the floor. He's always been one of my favorite players. I've loved watching him since his days in college at Rhode Island. I only spent a year there. But he's a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And when he's locked in and focused, he's extremely valuable because of his size and versatility and understanding of the game. Ibaka, the pass to Martin. Another miss by Martin. And it is very dangerous to leave him open like that. Lucky break for the defense that he missed it. And a good game so far as we conclude the first quarter. 16. Welcome back, folks. We have a close game here at the start of the second quarter of play. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from the Clippers? And I like what they've done offensively, really attacking the rim, getting a lot of points in the paint. And guys, they've been the aggressor early. I mean, attacking the hoop and getting into the paint, that can make the game really easy for you. Ron Butler, Blake Griffin, and DeAndre Jordan, their front line. Chris Paul is out there with Crawford. That's who's out there for the Clippers. to Paul. The pass to Crawford. Some nice ball movement by the Clippers. And stolen by Perkins. For the finish. Oh. Went for the two-hand throw down there. Needed safety and power. <laughs> that's, a, that's how you do it. Yep. No, nothing fancy, but he finished with force. That was a nice replay. Brought to you by Sprite. And Jordan gets it to go. Excellent execution of the plan there. Westbrook against Paul. That's a two from Martin. That's good, and so Westbrook comes up with the assist. Westbrook's got three assists tonight. Boy, he's been so cool out there, composed, never rattled. I mean, a very steady contributor to the offense. Griffin kicks to Crawford. Gets it to go. Crawford's got his first two points. Three straight buckets in the paint. They're making it look effortless. Well, speaking of effortless, you'd like to see a little more out of the defense. Huh? How about trying, guys? Griffin dishes to Jordan. Westbrook with the steal. And the foul called on Blake Griffin. That's his first foul. Willie Green's checked in for the Clippers. And a new group in here for the Thunder. Machine the beat. He's checked in for Perkins. Baca comes in for Nick Collison. Kevin Durant's checked in for Cephalosha. And Derek Fisher is subbed in for Russell Westbrook. Here's Fisher. Nine points last game. Here's the dish to the beat. Outside, Martin. Six on the shot clock. And the three off target. Looking at Oklahoma City, they took the win in their last game against the Trailblazers. And you might not typically mention blocks as the key to a win, but I think you do in this case. They were really dominant defensively. Well, when you come up with as many denials as they did, rejections, that is, it's impossible not to mention. I mean, it was a great game for them defensively. Ball against Fisher. Martin from outside. Another miss by Martin. The Clippers trail. They're looking for a little bit of redemption in this one after the loss to them here last time. Yeah, it was a pretty close game the first time they met, but the mistakes cost them. They, they were very careless with the ball. They're going to have to take care of it tonight. They double-team Griffin. There's the double-team with Mark. Green drills it from outside. Green's got his first three points of the game. 
Uh, when the double team's in place, it really spreads the floor offensively. Time called here. The Thunder decide to talk it over. You know, Clark, they could rewind and erase some of that sloppy play. I mean, they would have had the W. Without question. I mean, you get rid of those turnovers and be a little sharper, but the turnover difference, too much to overcome. A platoon swap here for the Clippers. He feeds it to Durant. Feeds it to Fisher. Dishes it to Ibaka. No one near him. Barnes grabs the miss. Easy look there, but, you know, he misses those once in a while. Shot's good by Bledsoe. Now it's a four-point Clipper lead. Jamal Crawford is a smooth scoring combo guard. Great ball handling ability with that quick release on his jump shot. So he can really get that shot off just about any time he wants. A different look for Oklahoma City. Nick Collison's checked in for Hashim Thabit. Cephalosha comes in for Kevin Martin. And Russell Westbrook is subbed in for Jarek Fisher. Back to Durant. And that time, also a missed shot. And Steve, you said it. I mean, for Jamal Crawford, he is an expert shot creator. He's quick. He keeps the ball on the string. His handle is really tight. He's got a quick release. He can make tough shots against good defenses. All of that makes him really difficult to defend. Just five to shoot. Ludzo back to Crawford. Off target from three-point range. One ten left in the first half. And Westbrook, here we go. That's good. Westbrook's got his second basket of the game. Love the finish there. Not much defense, though. Crawford with the ball. Westbrook picks him up. That's good. And the Clippers lead by six. You know, and I think it goes without saying, guys, but his strength and body control scoring in close, that's what makes him special. You can see it with the shooting percentages inside. I mean, he's a, a tremendous finisher. Hey, you know, against him, Steve, as an opponent, you need to make sure you're making smart, crisp passes because he's so good at picking off the sloppy loose ones. And the shot is good. Westbrook's got six. He is always so in control, guys. Even when he's going hard to the hoop, very skilled finisher. Such a careless pass. You've got to keep your head in the game here. Big group substitution here for the Clippers. DeAndre Jordan's checked in for Odom. Griffin comes in for Grant Hill. Karan Butler's checked in for Matt Barnes. And it's Paul in for Jamal Crawford. And Oklahoma City with a change here, too. Kevin Martin, he's checked in for Kevin Durant. Ludzo passes to Griffin. Working on Collison. Griffin kicks to Jordan. He dishes it to Bloodso. Paul. Paul gets a screen from Jordan. Passes it to Bloodso. Back to Paul. Knocks it loose. And here we go with Westbrook heading to the hoop. The big dunk at the end of the break. And check out your point guard showing you major bounce above the rim. How about this? The smaller the player, the bigger the highlight. I love that. <laughs> and that was a highlight. Terrific finish.